the fastest man on two legs was given a demonstration of speed by the fastest man on four wheels. Lewis Hamilton partied long into the Texas night with his entourage, including Mother Brenda, who traveled to Austin from her Hertfordshire home, after winning the U.S. Grand Prix yesterday to bring a fourth Formula One World Championship within reach before the race. Hamilton frightened the life out of Usain Bolt, the former World and Olympic champion sprinter, when he drove him around the Austin track in a Mercedes sports car. Then, the Brit climbed into his more familiar silver F1 machine to frighten the title out of Sebastian Vettel, his main rival for this championship. Hamilton is now 66 points ahead of Vettel, with a maximum of 75 on offer from the final three races of the season, starting next weekend in Mexico. It is a mountain of a task for Vettel and his Ferrari team and they barely scaled to reach the foothills in Austin, where the German, usually so feisty, appeared to accept meekly Hamilton's complete dominance of the circuit of the Americas. Vettel surged into the lead from the start but Hamilton needed only three laps to sweep by the scarlet Ferrari to claim a lead he would not relinquish, while Vettel settled for second. Hamilton and Bolt share signature pose on the podium after USGP win I was expecting it to be more of a tough fight with Sebastian, Hamilton said, once he had finished wrenching Bolt with victory champagne. Maybe it will come next weekend in Mexico, Seb got a great start, but I was chilled about it as I know you can overtake here. So, I stayed cool. I was a bit surprised Seb didnt defend more. From strong contenders, Ferrari have faded miserably in the six Grand Prix since the summer break. As a former Ferrari world champion, Nicky Lauda, now the Mercedes chairman, has a theory about the team's troubles as rumors of sackings and drastic reorganization circulate in the wake of the slump. Ferrari are hard to beat when there is inner peace and trust in their own performance, said the Austrian. Clive Mason Getty images but they are easy to beat when they stand in their own way with performance pressure, high expectations and when people are emotional and insecure. Hamilton wins U.S. Grand Prix to close in on F1 title Perhaps Hamilton's own theory carried more weight when he decided he was driving on another level this season. He has won five of the past six races and was second at the odd one out, in Malaysia. Valtteri Bottas, Hamilton's teammate, finished fifth and if he is the benchmark then Hamilton really is on another level. Perhaps Vettel knew he was in for a beating in Austin. Hamilton has won five of six outings there and the United States is his second home, a place where his lifestyle of fast cars and private jets is indulged and where he is probably the only F1 driver who would be recognized by the American public. There is precious little hope ahead in Mexico for Vettel and Ferrari, either. Hamilton won at the Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez last season and was second the previous year. The uphill climb just got steeper for a Ferrari team now without a world champion driver in a decade, since Kimi Raikkonen in 2007, how much longer will the most famous team in F1 have to wait until Hamilton is finished would seem to be the answer, and the wild party in Austin's music bower last night. Where the champion in waiting rap with his friends from the music industry and saying to his mum, is not going to be the last.